moon, it is just shy of 1 p.m. Eastern. I got started early, folks. Woohoo! <laughs> no, after the couple of weeks I've had, getting started early is a good thing. I So, I hope everybody had a wonderful Valentine's Day. I know I sure did. And I hope you did too again. So let's get this thing going. Let's get all the, get everything shared out in all the usual suspects places. And while we do that, let's talk about yesterday's show. Yeah, we had it on Valentine's Day yesterday instead of on Tuesday. I had a conflict of interest. I had to be dragging my manager all over everywhere. Managers. They're worthless. As an old radio partner of mine, my, of mine said, give them a couple hair shot, chair shots, knock them out, and leave them in the back. But mine won't let me do that. She makes me drag her all over everywhere. So, um, but got it all taken care of, and here we are. So, welcome Shifty the Drunken Dragon Clown, Bad Jan, Raven the Enchanted, Ed Ritter, Brian Hillebert, a.k.a. Silver Bullet. Welcome to Thursday Revolution. And this show is ran by our GM, Bubs. And while I am sharing this out, we're going to talk about our show on Tuesday. Tuesday was an interesting show. I am doing great, uh, Raven. I hope you are doing well yourself. So, uh, da 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 da. Okay, one more place to share. Got to share it in the scene. Uh, oh, I'm glad to hear that, Raven. Glad. Oh, everything's sliding around here, trying to fall off. And so, on yesterday's show, Bubs had. Raven and Cy invade the show because there's a little a little rivalry going back and forth between the GMs and about which show is the better show. So we had this so we had a couple of invasion matches and Raven took on Alexa Weiss and Alexa won. Cy took on newcomer Jane Bones and Cy won. So, in a break the, to break the, the tie, we had Bubs take on Ann Bonnie in a submission match, and Ann Bonnie won, and on the Tuesday Evolution show, Evolution won out. So today, and at the end of the show, Mama chose two people from Evolution to invade today's Revolution show. And she chose Anne Bonnie and Nadine to come over. So the first two matches are going to be invasion matches. If there is a tie, I will add an eighth match to the end of the show to see who is the best on Revolution. So, the first match will be Ann Bonnie, our invader, taking on newcomer Sonia Adams. And then Nadine, again our invader, will take on Roxanne Winters. Roxanne has been on a hot streak here in Revolution. So those two, were uh, Sonia Adams and Roxanne, were chosen to take on Anne Bonnie and Nadine.
All right, so, okay, got those. Hey, welcome, welcome, little brother. Welcome, She-Hulk chick. Well, Silver Bullet, okay, got to talk to you. You do not have... Uh, that's something else I need to talk about. It was announced at the end of Evolution that Queen Crotch Fungus has been fired from EXW. So Silver Bullet, at this moment, you do not have anybody to represent. But two people have stepped forward and said you could represent them. Speranza and Missy Canuck. So, if you would like to represent those two, young, those two ladies, now remember, Missy Canuck is Mama's wrestling mama's daughter. So, um, if you would like to represent those two ladies, Silver Bullet, you will have two ladies that you can represent. I just need to know if you're okay with that, and then you will have two. So, just let me know, SB. And, um, let me double check. I believe that would may be both of them, I believe, are on this show. Thursday Revolution. Let me double check real quick. Of course, my computer decides to be really slow. Uh, yes, both Missy and Speranza are on the Thursday show. <laughs> okay, so that is a yes. So you will be representing both Speranza and Missy Canuck. Now remember, Missy is just 16. So no hitting on Missy or Mama will neuter you. All right, so let's get this show on the road. Wait, Doug is not wearing clothes? What? Doug, put clothes on. This is a family-friendly show. Put clothes on. All right. You know, you might get away with some language and, and, and all, but clothes are required. Yes, yes, uh, Raven, you have the lovely D train to escort you. Just remember he is married. Yes, you finally have your bullet, babes. I didn't say you had to wear shoes. You just have to wear at least pants. Or shorts, you know, cover the junk. You know, we do have young ladies running around the, the area. Cover the junk. <laughs> okay, Raven. I am not announcing you as the big old ball of sexy, D-Train. That's a little too much for your sister to say about you. I do have my limits on what I will say about my brother.
Hey, KH28, the Joker. Welcome to the stream. As much as I don't like it when you wear your Speedo, at least the junk is covered, bro. No, O'Brien Hillebert, I am not saying that about you either. You are the lovable furball. Well, the furball. All right, and yes, our first competitor headed to the ring, hailing from the Caribbean. She stands at six feet tall, weighing in at 158 pounds. She is from EXW's Tuesday Evolution, accompanied to the ring by her, by her manager. She is Anne Bonnie, the current world champion. Uh, Raven, is that me that you're talking to that you need a favor from? Hello, Ed Velocity Bunny. Don't forget, if you're new, hit the subscribe button. It's a big red button. You can't miss it. And there's a little bell next to it. You'll get you hit that, you'll get notified when I am on air. And also, if you like what you see, show your appreciation and give me some feedback by hitting that thumbs up button. And her opponent, new to EXW, making her debut, she is from Blackpool, England. She stands at 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 130 pounds. She is accompanied to her to the ring by her brother Damien. He is the leader of the Fallen Angels over at the PPF Gaming Channel. She is Sonia Adams. Well, it does say subscribe on the big red button. So if they're colorblind, they can still read, I hope. Uh-oh, Doug, you're in trouble with Raven. So we've got two Eds. So one's going to be called Bunny, and the other one's just going to be Ed. How are you, Ed Ritter? And quickly, they are tied up in the corner. Will it be a clean break? Yes, it is, surprisingly. And I will tell you, the reason why this matchup was done, and Bonnie is a, she is just a powerhouse. That is why, one of the reasons why she is the current world champion. And she was put, put up against Sonya Adams because, well, <laughs> You can't get much dirtier than Sonya Adams. She, I have watched her at on PPF Gaming Channel, and she is just vicious. So we've got two vicious women in the ring. Look at these triple butterfly maneuvers by and Bonnie on Sonya. So I figured if anybody had a fighting chance against Anne Bonnie, it would be Sonya Adams. Oh, hurry back, uh, She-Hulk chick. You are in a match later in the mat in the show. 
and and punching Sonya in the gut and oh nice leg scissor takedown and Sonya rolling out of the ring but suicide dive by Ann Damien oh trying to get involved there backs off <laughs> yes Ed and Doug when would you like Raven and I to reappear on your show to take over we only require a small compensation fee and both ladies back into the ring and Sonya has taken over control over Anne Bonnie Bad Jan says, go Ann Bonnie. And Ann back in control. Throws Sonya over the top rope. And there is a chair been thrown into the ring. And Ann was just standing there looking at Sonya. Now she's back at, she's at ringside. Ann throws Ann, uh, throws Sonya into the ring and punches her in the face and kicks her in the head. Damien up on the ring, the ringside distracting Ann Bonnie allowing Sonya to get to recover uh, Shulky has her husband as a manager SB and a DDT by Ann Bonnie on to Sonya right there in front of Damien and Luthes Press fought with with a series of punches to the face. Finally, the referee notices the chair. Oh, and a backstabber by Ann Bonnie. And she misses that, that kick to the legs, but still manages to main control, maintain control. But she misses that, that uh, maneuver there in the corner. And Sonya choking out and Bonnie. And a kick, but um, and back up. Hello, Blade Charge. So, Blade Charge, you are now part of the Bullet Babes. Well, Speranza is. Oh, nice reversal there by Sonya. Hello, BD Gamer Boss. And around and around she goes where she stops. Only Sonya knows. A lot out of Sonya. Look at there. She's having to recover and was is losing valuable time. Do you use Facebook? Hello, Dark Knight. Uh, BD Gamer Boss, do not use all caps in my chat. By Sonya on to Ann, but Griff is distracting Sonya, allowing Ann to, to regain her feet. Yes, BD, I do have a Facebook account. No, I am not giving out my Facebook account. That is for primarily for my family. Thank you, but again. Please do not use all caps. It's like yelling. And that is like yelling at everybody. And Sonya going for a pin and gets a two count. If you subscribe to me, BD, I will subscribe back after the after the show. 
Sonya, oh, go crawling up. And Bonnie, what's she going to do? Oh, a series of vicious headbutts. Raven. And another curb stomp. Now Griff up on the the ring apron, distracting the ref, keeping, keeping him from counting the pin. So both managers doing a good job of distracting and keeping... Keeping the... Oh, and Griff just threw a chair into the ring. Sonya coming back with a punch to the face and a snap suplex. BD, I have warned you several times about using all caps. And Sonya just kicked. And Bonnie over the top rope. And Damien throws her right back into the ring. Griff up on the turn up on the ring apron trying to to um, undo the turnbuckle and distracts the ref. And the ref finally notices the chair and throws it out. And Sonya going for the pin, but Griff up on the ring apron, distracting the ref. Is Griff going to get thrown out of this match? You know, typically, when he's out here, he... Oh, he just got ejected. Yes, he did. Oh, and making a reversal. Thank you, Shifty. And Shifty, your protege, will be making her debut in this in this card. And Ann Bonnie, a series of belly-to-back suplexes. Nice job there with that clothesline by Ann Bonnie. And nice leg scissors takedown off of the springboard spring off of the ropes. And oh nice takedown by Ann going for the pin. One. Two and only gets a two count. Welcome back, She Hulk chick. And Anne fussing at the ref. She did not like that she only got a two count. Knee to the back. And going into a submission move here. Sonya working her way up. And out of the submission move. I told you this was going to be a good match. These two ladies are not going to leave anything. They're just going to leave it all right there in the ring. They're not... Wow, now look at that maneuver. They're going to just take it to each other. And this far they have. Oh, Sonya missing that move. Giving... Oh, giving Anna... Uh, moment but Sonya taking it back and Sonya going for the pin one two three and winner of our first match Revolution's own brand new member Sonya Adams defeating the world champion and Bonnie
So in our first invasion match, Revolution is up one to nothing. And Sonya taking a bow there. All right, in our next evasion match, our invader Nadine will be taking on Roxanne Winters, who has been on a hot streak lately. While this is loading, be sure if you haven't already done so, take a look in the description at the YouTube channels that I support. If you haven't already checked out those channels, be sure to do so. If you like wild, crazy matches, check out Uncommitted at Hugo Lavalle's channel. He puts on wild, crazy matches. Um, of course, the godfather of us all is Pillar to Post. Um, if you like all women's wrestling, like this show, check out um, Broken, uh, Broken Gamer Channel. Uh, right now, all of his shows are being uh, uploaded, but he puts on some great shows. Uh, PPF Gamer has a women's only uh, show that he does. Um... Blade Charge does Val uh, Blade Charge has a um, Valkyries that is a all women show. There's some great stuff going on in on YouTube with the digital wrestling. So check out those channels. And yes, Maverick is going live tonight with Raw um, Raiders Affliction Wrestling at 8 p.m. Eastern. And our first in our invader hailing from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. She stands at five feet one inch tall, weighing in at 132 pounds. She comes to us from EXW Evolution. She is the sweetheart of EXW, Nadine Wall. And yes, um, brother, your channel is listed as one of mine that I support. Welcome, Blazed Radio. And her opponent, Haley from Carson City, Nevada. She stands at 5 feet, 4 inches tall, weighing in at 143 pounds. She wants to know... Can you handle this? She is accompanied to the ring by Chance Harper. She is Roxanne Winters. And here lately, most of the roster can't handle this. I just hadn't seen you say anything, Blazed. And here they go. Roxanne quickly taking it to Nadine. These, these Revolution women are not taking kindly to Evolution. Coming in and invading the show and there was a rib breaker now neck scissors ta neck scissor hold and Nadine breaks out of it 
And D-Train says Roxanne for the win. And a nice suplex there by Nadine. And going for a pin. One. Only one count. And Roxanne counters with that takedown. And a snap suplex by Roxanne. Quickly taking things back. Welcome back, Blade Charge. And Nadine counters with a punch. But float over by Roxanne. And an inverted DDT. Oh, here she goes. She's going to pick her up. And roundhouse kick. Nadine says, no, not going to happen. And she gets her in the half Boston Crab. But yeah, a little early for those submission moves to do much, do much good. It can happen, but it's a little early. And Nadine flung into the corner. But Nadine, but Nadine was ready for Roxanne. And the clap to the ears. Well, that really rings your bell when that happens. Roxanne in control at the moment. Gets Nadine up. And slingshots her off that top rope. Goes for a pin. One. Only a one count. And Nadine counters with a punch to the ribs. And to the face. And... That slam onto the mat really takes it out of your back. Nadine trying to get this crowd here for revolution fired up. But Roxanne counters. Oh, going high risk. Will she get high reward out of this? And she does with that crossbody. And goes for a pin. One. To, ooh, only a one count. So three pin attempts and each of them only a one count. Oh, Roxanne puts her in the neck scissors and goes for that trio of vicious elbows to the top of Nadine's head. Oh, here she goes, measuring her and hits her with that elbow drop. And another. And slamming Nadine's head into the mat. Gets her up, punches her, but Nadine is able to counter. Backhand chop. Oh, but she missed, and she gets sent over, Nadine gets sent over the ropes for her effort. And the crowd is going wild. They are loving this. And Nadine thrown back into the ring. Now, I forgot to tell you, this is a no, both of these matches were no count out matches. Oh, looky here. This submission, this submission move. Roxanne is, loves this submission move. And Nadine taps out. And evolution. It's put on notice with quite a display saying, you're not coming in to my, our house and showing us up. Roxanne tapping out Nadine. So there will not need to be an extra match today for a tiebreaker. Very handily, hand, job was very handily taken care of by the Revolution women.
You haven't been able to subscribe, SB? Now, our next match is a grudge match. Now, I I am sorry, but I can't remember exactly what my memory, you know, how... Oh, to Uncommitted? Okay. Yeah, Hulo Lavalet is his channel name. All right, Speranza, you're going to have to remind me what this match is about because I don't remember... I know it has something to do with the Killer Dolls versus Jennifer. I know it was, they, y'all wanted a handicap match, but Bub said that only would get it if something happened and it didn't happen, so it's a one-on-one -on -one match. So, I just know that this is a grudge match. It is a Hell in a Cell match. So, there is nowhere to run. There is nowhere to hide. There's no count outs. These two ladies are going to have to duke it out. And they're just going to have to get on with it. All right, our first competitor, hailing from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, standing in at 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds, she is Speranza. Her competitor, a former killer doll, hailing from Hollywood, California, standing at 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 110 pounds, she is Jennifer A. Jennifer goes after Speranza. I thought Jennifer and Nikita were no longer killer dolls, uh, Blade Charge. And Speranza's bat has taken over control of the match, and Nikita rolls out of the ring. But gets back in. And Irish whip into the corner. And quick take out. Take it down. And punch to the face by Jennifer. 
Because I was told who to give Killer Doll jackets to, and they were not one of them. I was told there were... Th I told three people... to give jackets to. And... they were not... Nice leg scissor takedown there by, and again by Jennifer on Speranza. Speranza, you are one of the bullet babes. That's what SB calls. That's what he calls the the women that he he manages. And drop kick missed there by Speranza. Jawbreaker by Speranza, but countered by a fireman's carry by Jennifer A. Speranza thrown into the corner. And a vicious backhand chop by Jennifer. little short DDT by Jennifer. Jennifer going high risk. Will she have high reward? Oh yes, with a vicious elbow drop right to the heart of Speranza. And here's a pin. One, two, and only a two count. And sl Speranza slingshotted off of the top rope. Jennifer's up on the second ropes, beckoning her up, and she gets nailed with that clothesline. Oh, and a vicious elbow drop to the leg by Jennifer. Gets her up, and Irish whips her into the corner. And flings her, then flings her into the turnbuckle. Now Jennifer going high risk again. Will she get high reward? Yes, with another vicious elbow drop right to the heart. And going for another pin. One, two. Oh, and only a two count. But that kick out looked pretty weak there by Speranza. And Jennifer going high risk again. Will it be another high reward? No, she missed. Speranza was able to get out of the way. And Speranza going for a pin. One, two, only a two count. Kick to the back there by Speranza and stomp to the face. And Speranza insulting Jennifer by dragging her face across the mat. Dropping her right on the neck of the mat. Going for pin. One, two, only a two count. Oh, and vicious kick there by Spronson. Going for a pin. One, two, only a two count. Bronza going high risk now. And high reward with that crossbody. Oh, but Jennifer is able to counter there after that. And elbow drop right to the small of the back. And an elbow drop by Jennifer. Stomp to the hand. Nice back and forth between these ladies. Ooh, backbreaker. Now Jennifer going high risk again. 
And will it be high reward? Yes, with that elbow drop. She really likes that elbow drop off that top rope and going for a pin. One, two, and only a two count. Speranza able to roll and get that shoulder up. And snap mirror. And in the, into the leg scissors with the, the trio of elbows to the top of Speranza's head. And into that submission move, stretching out that hamstring. But Speranza able to counter. And snap mare by Speranza. And breaks the eyes, but Jennifer was able to counter before she could complete it. And Russian leg Russian leg sweep by, by Speranza. But Jennifer counters with the jawbreaker. Oh, and a... And a counter by Jennifer and a pin. D-Train saying, come on, Jennifer. Two count by Jennifer on Speranza. Jennifer going high risk again. Will be high reward. Yes, with that elbow drop yet again. Going for the pin. One, two, three. And Jennifer able to survive in this match actually it's more like beat the crap out of Speranza sorry Speranza you just didn't look very good in this match lots of back and forth but Jennifer for the most part did maintain control in this match Lucky, lucky. I don't think so, Speranza. She controlled you. Alright, next we have a welcome to EXW Tag Team Match. We have two new members that we're going to welcome. In the red, on the right hand side, we've got Never Ending Legs. She is the protege of Shifty the Drunken Dragon Clown. And in the black and green, we have Bella Morte, Bubs' daughter. They are taking on Doll Baby, accompanied to the ring by Jake Bagwell and my daughter, Crusher. He is allowed at the gorilla position and no further. Yeah, so that's as far as he gets to go is the gorilla position. Ah, just in time, Bubs. No, he is not escorting your niece. He is escorting Doll Baby.
No, Bella Morte is Bubs's daughter. Never Ending Legs is the protege of Shifty. All right, our first competitor. She hails from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. She is five foot seven, weighs in at 140 pounds. She is escorted to the ring by Jake Bagwell, and this entrance won't take four hours. She is doll, baby. So, Bubs and Bonnie took on Sonya Adams. And Sonya beat her. And then we had Nadine taken was took on Roxanne Winters and Roxanne won. So Revolution in two matches showed Evolution who is boss of Thursday. I don't know where Jake is. He, yeah, I know he rarely misses, but he's not here today. All right, and Doll Baby's partner, she hails from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. She stands at six feet tall, weighs in at 170 pounds. She is the daughter of the owner and promoter and commentator. <laughs> she is Crusher. All right, there is the tag team of Crusher and Doll Baby. Their opponents, the first one, she is brand new to EXW. She is, hails from Queens, New York. She stands six feet, four inches tall, weighs in at 245 pounds. She is accompanied to the ring by her mentor, Shifty the Drunken Dragon Clown. She is never ending legs, as it says right there on her jacket. D-Train is going for Doll Baby and Crusher. And her tag team partner hailing from Atlanta, Georgia. She stands at 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 124 pounds. She is the daughter of the Thursday Revolution GM Bubs. She is Bella Morte.
All right, we're gonna start out with legs and doll baby. Jan is cheering for legs and and Bella. Ooh, and a vicious spinning elbow by doll baby onto legs. Yes, you probably have wrestled Bella in WUD train. And float over by Bella taking legs down. And doll baby going high risk. Will it be high reward? She's measuring her. Legs is up. And yes, yeah, she takes her down with a with a hurricane rana. And Doll Baby is in control of legs so far. Nice kick to the back. Gets legs up. And throws her into the into their corner. Legs comes back with a kick to the face, but gets an elbow to the face for effort and a scoop slam. Wonder if Doll Baby will go for a, a tag while she's over there. This would be a good time to take a tag, but no, Legs takes her out with the... And throws her into their corner. Yes, it is a good thing laptops can travel. Legs makes a tag into Bella. Bella, ooh, takes Doll Baby out. Oh, but gets a hot... Doll Baby gets a hot tag to crush her. It was Rabbit the Ferocious is, is Bella's husband. And my daughter taking on Bubs's daughter. That was not planned this way subconsciously, but you know, it just happened this way. I paired a I, I actually am the one that did this show this week. Bubs asked me to take care of the show for her. She had a lot going on. The only reason why Crusher was put with Doll Baby was due to some comments that Doll Baby had made. Jake helping Crusher up. Isn't that nice of him? Doll Baby had made some comments about Crusher, how she was impressed with her. So that's why I teamed those two together. Tag Doll Baby back in. It wasn't so that I could put my daughter against Bubs's daughter. It's just how it worked. Jake, quit staring at my daughter's butt. Hello, David Diesel. Welcome to the chat. Pin attempt made, but broken up by leg by legs. And another pen attempt by Dolby. And only a two count. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Rabbit the Furious is also Raven's brother. So Bella Morte is Raven's sister in law. If you are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button button hit the bell for notifications and a slingshot off the top rope and if you like what you see please give me some feedback hit that thumbs up button uh, d train that would be a really bad mistake because you know there wouldn't be very many branches there'd be a lot of figure eights Sorry for the, the the noise there. I'm finishing my coffee. Okay, coffee done. Sorry about that. 
Oh, nice side slam by Doll Baby on Never Ending Legs. Luke Baker, thank you for subscribing. Anybody that subscribes during my show, I will get you back after the show is over. Nice match so far. A lot of back and forth. Some good, some good tag in and out. Pressure. Nice teamwork there in the corner. For two that have not tagged together before, nice teamwork there between the two ladies. David, I will get you back after the show. Thank you for subbing. Uh, that should put me right at about 280 subs. And remember, or not 280, 180 subs. Remember, when we get up to 250, there will be another uh, giveaway. Oh, nice takedown there by Never Ending Legs on Crusher. And a punch to the face. Never ending legs, controlling Crusher there, throws her into the corner. Will there be a, oh, no tag. Crusher kicking legs into the face, but gets thrown back into the corner. No, tag again. Oh, Crusher taking legs down. Legs trying to crawl to her corner, but Crusher stops her. Crusher going high risk, will it be high reward? Don't know what you're talking about, David. Hello, Daniel Dynamite. Or Daniel Dino. Dynamite 1985. Welcome to the show. Glad you can make it. Nice shoulder block there by legs. Now going to go to work on Crusher's leg. The series of knee to the to the thigh. Gets her up, and Irish whips her into their corner. Oh, I'm sorry. I I now get what you said, David. David, this is a female only wrestling promotion. So unless you want a female character, oh, nice drop kick there by Crusher on legs, and she gets her in the neck scissor and drops a nice elbow on the head. Oh, nice back body drop. Crusher is hurt and crawling towards the ropes, trying to get over and makes a hot tag to Doll Baby. Oh, and Doll Baby making a nice, nice series of connected elbow and clothesline, but uh, legs making a hot tag to Bella. Bella does a basement drop kick on the legs of Doll Baby. And a series of stomps. And a belly to belly suplex by Bella. And goes for the pin. One, two, and only a two count. And puts her to head scissors. But Doll Baby is able to work her way out of it. Nice maneuver there by Doll Baby gets Bella up and whips her into the corner and tags in Crusher and they're gonna go for the double team is it gonna be oh look at that face plant 
And Crusher stomping on Bella. And powerbomb into a pin. One, two. Oh, and flips her over for the Boston Crab. Will she submit? No, she does not. Well, thank you, uh, Daniel. That is very sweet of you. Bubs just going. I could hear her from the back screaming, Bella. Oh, but oh, Crusher getting cocky. It's kicking fake dirt over onto Bella. Gets her up. And swings her into the corner, but Bella comes back with a kick. And a Russian leg sweep. Bella. Oh, Jake is distracting Bella. Giving Crusher time to recover. And Crusher flung into the opponent's corner and a tag made to never ending legs. And legs launched onto Crusher with that cross body. Oh, she hold chick talking smack to Bubs. And oh, look at the oh, never ending legs fell up short with that with that off the top ropes, but she recovers first and knocks the referee down. Goes back up to the top rope, looking for that another high risk maneuver. Time. Ref back up on his feet. Goes for a pin. One, two, and only a two count. Oh, kick to the back. Oh, a punch to the face by legs. Oh, and a reverse jawbreaker by Crusher. Oh, I'm sorry, she halt chick. And legs tags in Bella. Crusher's in trouble here. Oh, Crusher putting the leg scissors, but able to reverse it. Oh, but Bella is able to get her down and working on the arm. Crusher back up to her feet, but crucifix takedown by Bella. Oh, Bella show, uh, spears. Doll baby off of the, the off of the apron and flings Crusher into the the corner and now she's going for a pump handle fall away slam goes for a pin one two three and welcome to EXW matches won by the newcomers Bella Morte and Never Ending Legs. What a great match. Congratulations to our two newcomers. For having never tagged together, they did a great job tag making the tags in and out. Alright, our next two matches are Hell in a Cell Triple Threat matches.
Yes, Bubs. Bubs is happy her daughter won. Good job, Bella and Never Ending Legs. All right, this triple threat match features Evie Bloodyard, Sasha Camaro, and that crazy bitch, TCB. All right, while this is loading, I would like to take a few moments to thank my sponsors. First of all, we've got Mark from Bomb Pop Overdrive and Crush Pop Productions. Go check out his YouTube channel at Bomb Pop Overdrive. We've, he is gearing up for Season 2 of Midwest Pro Wrestling. Awesome stuff he has going on over there. That will be coming soon. And check out Crush Pop Productions. He's got some great things going on over there as well. And then our other sponsor is Mondo. He's a great guy from WU and oh, lots of the other... Uh, channels here in um, d in YouTube so go check go check out Crush Pop Productions and Midwest Pro Wrestling over on Bomb Pop Overdrive and thank you Mondo all right our first competitor heading to the ring she hails from San Jose, California. She stands six feet tall, weighing in at 140 pounds. She is the fastest thing in EXW. She's Sasha Camaro. Her first competitor, hailing from Las Vegas, Nevada. She stands 5 feet 9 inches tall. She weighs in at 125 pounds. She is the mysterious Evie Bloodyard. Well, she is sarcastic too, but she is a bit mysterious. And their competitor, hailing from San Diego, California, standing at 5 feet 10 inches tall. She weighs 130 pounds. She is that crazy bitch. And yes, she is. She lives up to her name. And this is another Hell in a Cell match, ladies and gentlemen.
All right, and Evie quickly wrote, and TCB quickly get out of the ring. TCB throws her in. TCB gets back in. Sasha runs in and out. And wow, not much wrestling going on. Wow. Okay. That was kind of odd. Now TCB and Sasha going at each other, and T then Sasha goes after Evie. Sorry, looking for something on my cheat sheet uh, program. Just, not program, but my document. Just a second here, folks. Alright, so we got Sasha kind of dazed in the ring and Evie and TCB t going at each other in on the the arena floor. TCB, everybody going back into the ring. The redhead uh, bunny is Sasha Camaro. The black haired one with all the, it's all tatted up, that is Evie Bloodyard. And the purple one, that's that crazy bitch, or TCB. Double knees to the gut by Evie. Evie doing a leg scissor takedown on TCB. Oh! Ray, uh, Evie, I don't know what all she accomplished with that move, but didn't look like much. But nice takedown there on uh, TCB. Backhand chop. Sa uh, Sasha is out on the arena floor recovering. No, nothing to be sorry about. Um, Ed, you, you're, or Bunny, you don't you're new, you don't know everybody. I don't mind explaining who they are. The, the longer you're here, the better you'll know who the cast of characters are. And let me tell you, they are characters. Uh, Evie about to drop kick, yep, drop kicked Sasha into the corner. TCB going after Evie now with that power bomb. Evie out on the arena floor. TCB down on the mat. Sasha trying to get the crowd going on her favor. Now she's working over TCB, but oh, TCB stopped the the kick. Oh, that was an that was an impressive belly to back suplex there. Oh, leg scissor takedown by Evie on TCB. Evie going high risk. Will it be high reward? Who will it be on? Oh, she changes her mind. Everybody's a character, Shifty, in one way or another, especially you. Oh, by the way, you, did, did you get your your fix of, of Vintage Hobo today? Oh, nice takedown there by Sasha on Evie, but Evie counters with a kick to the leg, trying to take Sasha's leg out, and almost took the ref out when she flung Evie into the into the corner. Now she's choking Evie with those long legs. Now TCB has Sasha up on her shoulders and smashes her into the turnbuckle. Uh, you don't know what I'm talking about, Speranza. And she, uh, glad you got your hobo shifty. Plus, trust me, I've got plenty of it. You, can't, you 
Yeah. You kept forgetting I had it and kept me well. I've got a ton. Oh, TCB working over Evie. Sasha's get, regaining herself over on the apron. Or not the apron, the arena floor. And is back in the ring. And we've got a three-way. I know you men are just loving this. And TCB has Sasha in a submission. But Evie breaks it up. Ooh, nice leg scissor maneuver there. And has TCB in his Boston... Uh, Raven, you couldn't handle Vintage Hobo. TCB breaking up that, that pin. Now, Evie out on the floor, and Sasha and TCB going at each other. And nice belly-to-back suplex. Sasha off the top rope. TCB off the second. TCB going for a pin. Two. Only a two count. Blade charge. Midnight Hobo is liquor that Shifty makes. Uh, this is about five-year-old Hobo. Midnight Hobo, Raven. I don't think you could handle it. You could ask Shifty for a sip. Hello, John Cena. Welcome to the to the stream. And Evie flings TCB into the corner. Sasha's in the next corner, recovering, and everybody's just kind of standing there. And we're waiting. Oh, TCB recovers, and Evie throws her into the other corner. Now we're going to have another staring match. And Sasha has yet to move. Ah, Sasha has recovered. And goes after Evie. And... Now we got another staring match. Oh, but here comes CCB. And she goes after Raven. Sasha still in the corner just... Taking her dear sweet time. Yeah, somebody said Lady Rafa, but... I'll pray for you, Raven. Sasha was dancing for no reason. Oh, gets pinned. One, two, only a two count. I'll pray for you that it doesn't kill you, Raven, because that is some strong stuff. I can handle it, but yet I'm an elf, and human liquor doesn't bother me. Uh, two people down on the mat, and Sasha just stares. Pin somebody, Sasha. Hi, Silver Eye. Welcome to the show. Sorry you had a nightmare. TCB crawling to the corner trying to make her step to her feet. So is Evie. And Sasha goes after TCB. Throws her into the corner. And chokes her out with those long legs. And Evie goes after Sasha. Yes, it is far from normal human liquor, but it's still, it's not like elven wine. TCB crawling to the corner, getting to her feet while Sasha and Evie stare at each other. Sasha goes to dance, but gets pinned for her effort. One, two, and TCB's there to break it up. Oh, and... TCB flipped Evie, but she came up on her feet, and she missed the maneuver. Now Sasha with that that crucifix takedown. Hope you don't want any more children, Raven, because it's glowing for a reason. It's kind of radioactive. And nice takedown by Sasha on TCB. 
but uh, TCB counters. Evie is out on the arena floor recovery. And Sasha takes down TCB. Back in chop. Vicious back in chop. We warned you, Raven. I hope you can handle it because he. Well, I'm just saying, I just hope you don't want any more because, mm hmm. Hey, Jake. You'll have to go back and watch Doll Baby's match. And Sasha going for a pin, but only gets a two count. DCB is out down two. Smart, smart. She go pin her. Arm breaker by Evie. Throws Sasha into the corner. TCB's getting up to her feet. It's the stare down in the corner. I don't know. You might be right, D-Train. I think Evie might be scared of corners. And the Black Widow submission by Sasha. But T TCB's trying to break it up and not having much luck. Oh, and Evie was able to break out of the Black Widow. Uh, a lot. You should have taken a small sip, Raven. And Evie going to drop kick Sasha into the corner. Uh, belly to back soup release suplex and TCB landed on her feet and she super kicks Evie oh and TCB has Evie in a submission hold Sasha's out on the, the mat and Evie broke the We warned you, Raven. And Sasha and TCB going at it. Wow, Sasha took TCB down handily. Now she's going, TCB's rolling out of the ring. Now T Sasha's going after Evie. Down Sasha. And Sasha punches Evie in the face. TCB back in the ring and power bombs her into a pin. One, two, only two count. Flips her over. And she breaks the Boston Crab. Sasha, oh, choke it out. TCB in the corner. Look at that. Even has her up on the first rope. But has to break it because they are in the ropes. Evie's starting to kind of get, gain her feet over there on the, the, uh, the ringside. The arena floor. TCB. Oh, TCB putting the Black Widow. Well, oh, but she can't. But she counters it. That Black, Black Widow hurt. Oh, Raven. You are in so much. You are in so much trouble. TCB went for a pin and only got a two count on Evie. Kick to the gut and a face breaker. Sasha back into the ring. Breaks up the submission by Evie. 
Oh, and Evie taken down, but into the ropes, and she rolls across the ring. Nobody going after TCB. She should have been pinned. Oh, and takedown by Sasha on Evie. And an atomic drop by Sasha onto Evie. Leaves her laying out on the mat. And TCB flung into the corner into the referee, but he doesn't seem to be phased. TCB flung into the corner. And choked out again. This is like the fourth time she's been choked in the corner by those long legs of Sasha Camaro. Now a basement drop kick. And a stomp to the face by on Evie. TCB is out on the arena floor, and Evie's put into the Black Widow submission. Will she submit? And this is a perfect opportunity. TCB can't, can't interfere. Yes, phase two would be perfect for her match. As long as she doesn't go through phase two into phase three before the match is, starts. And again, Evie just staring at Sasha. It, well, TCB. Hello, Cody Dog. Welcome to the stream. TCB back into the ring. Knocks both women out. Brings Sasha up. Sasha, European uppercut. And takes almost takes her head off with that clothesline. I know. Phase three. I can't, We hope not. You know, that was five-year-old hobo. Oh, vicious elbow to the gut of. If you subscribe to me, Cody Dog, I will subscribe back to you after the show. Once I get the notification so I know who subscribed to me. Oh, TCB working on that hamstring. Now working on the, le the the knee of Evie. Sasha out on the arena floor. And now Evie putting that submission. Now if you subscribe, once I get that notification that you subscribed, after the match, I will go subscribe back. Hey, Omar Wolf. Welcome to the show. And Evie put back in that Black Widow. And Evie taps out. Our winner of the triple threat, Hell in a Cell, is the fastest one around, Sasha Camaro. I wonder, with as many times as she put Evie in that Black Widow, if Evie would finally submit to it, and she did. Yes, that was a great freaking match. That was an awesome triple threat match. And we are going to have another triple threat Hell in a Cell match. All right, this next triple triple threat Hell in a Cell features in the middle our Tuesday Evolution GM's daughter, Missy Canuck. On the left with the purple hair is Sweets T, D-Train's wife. And on the right, Nikki, or sorry, Nikita Solis. <laughs> D-Train, who are you rooting for? Thank you, Blade Charge. Yeah. 
You're not cheering for your wife? Ladies. Good thing she has another match to get through before it's her match. All right, our first competitor, Haley from Vancouver, bleh, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, standing at six feet tall, weighing in at 132 pounds. She is the third Tuesday Evolution GM's daughter. She's Missy Canuck. Well, Shifty, she hasn't hit phase two yet. We're doing good. Her first competitor, hailing from Amarillo, Texas. She stands at five feet, three inches tall, weighing in at 128 pounds. She is Sweet Tea. That is my sister-in-law. Who's your daughter? Who, which daughter, Raven? And their competitor, hailing from Moscow, Russia. She stands five feet, seven inches tall and weighs in at 133 pounds. She is Nikita Solis. Okay, who is she? I haven't heard that she might be coming to EXW. This is the first I've heard. Or is this just the... Oh, no, you don't need any more, Raven. You've had plenty. All right, they circle each other, and then Missy takes down Nikita. Oh, and <laughs> Sweet Stee takes down the ref. And then Missy and Sweet's tag, tag team on Nikita... Oh, and that poor ref may be out for quite a while. She Hulk chick, you don't need to be touching that bottle. Give it to Shifty. And Sweet Steve going up top, going high risk. And Missy tried to stop her, but she couldn't. And Sweets connected with Nikita. And Missy puts a jawbreaker on Sweets' T. And Missy is. Missy is out on the 
Arena Floor and Nikita Penn sweeps but doesn't even get a one count. And that flipping takedown there by Sweets on to Nikita, but she gets she gets pancaked by Missy. And then Missy goes to work on Sweets. Excuse me just a moment, folks. I've got somebody at my door. Sorry about that, folks. You know, it is the way it happens. You know, they always, somebody always appears right when you're in the middle of doing something. All right. Oh, no, She-Hulk chick. The reason why that bottle glows is because it's radioactive. You don't need to be touching it, hun. All right. Missy is back out on the arena floor and Nikita and Sweets are going at it in the corner. Uh, Shifty, Ed just down the whole damn bottle. Uh, Ed, that is five-year-old Midnight Hobo. You are, you, we, we need to get him to the hospital and get his stomach bump, bumped. Yeah. Um. That's not good, Ed. You have no idea what you just did. Hello, Lucius. Welcome to the show. Okay, we've got Nikita working on Missy, but... Um, hun? That wasn't his... Yeah, you missed by like two feet. Oh, and a two count there. Nikita's on the, the arena floor. And a nice little Hurricane Rana by, by Sweets on the Missy. And a leg drop. Uh... She-Hulk chick, take Ed to the hospital and a powerbomb into a pin and broken up by Nikita. He needs his stomach pumped. Missy rolls out of the ring. Sweets and Nikita are in the ring. Sweets get, puts Nikita up onto the turnbuckle. Because you drank freaking five-year-old Midnight Hobo. And superplex off of the top rope and Missy grabs Sweets knees her in the face Min, uh, Fireman's carry by Missy oh and an inverted DDT and Sweets rolls out of the ring and Missy goes high risk, will be high reward. She's beckoning Nikita up to her feet. 
And yes, but it took oh it took Missy out too. Ed, this will kill you. That's why you need to go get your stomach pumped. Just go with She-Hulk chick. And we got all three women up on their feet. And all three women working on each other. Missy is down. Nikita is down. Sweets is the only one on her feet. Who's she going to go for the pin? No, nope. no, she's going to continue to work on Nikita, but it cost her. She gets flung into the corner. Somebody should have pinned Missy. She gets a boot to the face. Sweets gets an elbow to the face. And power bomb into the pin. Missy gets up. One, two, only two count into the Boston Crab. And Missy breaks it up with a drop kick. And Nikita gets taken down. Missy. Missy's in puts Nikita into a submission, but she breaks out of it. Uh, Sweets is down on the arena floor. And Missy pins Nikita, one, two, three, and a winner of our second Hell in a Cell triple threat match is none other than Missy Canuck. Just leave him at the hospital. Tell him to pump, tell him he needs a stomach pump, he drank poison. That's a... And then come on back, because it's time for your match, hon. And our winner of our second triple threat match, and what a great match it was. It's none other than Evolution's GM daughter, Missy Canuck. This is our triple, or I'm sorry, our six-woman battle royal. In the middle, in the red and black, with the shades on. That is side hashtag sexy AF. To her left, in the green, is She-Hulk chick, and then on the end, on the left, is Lady Diana. In the middle, on the right, in the purple, is Raven, in, the enchanted Raven. In the green and black is your owner and promoter, Susie the Elf. And on the right in the end, in the black with the dark red hair, is the Evolution GM's granddaughter, Lolian Star. Maybe phase two will kick in before this match starts and Naven will go into her fit of rage. I just hope she can stand once she gets in the ring, D. Uh, 
Uh, Lucius, D-Train's married. All right, our first competitor. She hails from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. She stands in, she stands at six feet, eight inches tall, weighs in at 180 pounds. She is Psy, hashtag sexy AF. Her first competitor, hailing from the Whitechapel District of London, England. She stands at six feet tall, or sorry, five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. She is the Enchanted Raven. No, it did not. I just read it wrong. Their next competitor, hailing from New York, standing, in, standing at 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. She is She-Hulk Chick. Their next competitor, she hails from Middle Earth, stands at six feet tall, weighs in at 150 pounds. She is the owner, the promoter, and the commentator of EXW. She is Susie the Elf.
their next competitor hailing from Berlin Germany she stands six feet three inches tall she weighs in at 210 pounds she is Lady Diana Hello, Mark Caliber. Welcome to the stream. This is the main event match. It is a six-woman battle royal. And the final competitor. She hails from the fifth dimension. She stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighs in at 129 pounds. She is the granddaughter of the Thursday Revolution GM Bubs. She is Lolian Star. Ed, you shouldn't run. You should walk slowly. Surprised you can walk at all. Fred, just in time to watch your daughter. And there they go. Now I will hit the highlights because there is so much action going on. Uh, Raven is trying to get Diana out o over the corner but could not get both legs up. Susie is taking on Lolian and let's see now Cy and, uh, Cy and Diane are going at it and She-Hulk, Chicken, and Raven are going at it. Susie up on the second rope. Oh, She-Hulk, Chick eliminates Raven and Well, that was quick, Raven. Sorry, hun. And there for a minute, I thought She-Hulk Chick and Lady Diana were going to get Psy out. Because I'm going to tell you, it's going to take probably a couple, couple, uh, a couple of them to get Psy out. And Lolian trying to get She-Hulk Chick out. But she is holding on tight to that rope. Uh, I'm not telling you where the hobo's at, Raven. We've got Lady, the two, the t well, we had Lady Diana and Cy going at it, the two biggest ladies in the match. Now Lillian and Cy going at it, Susie and Diana going at it. Now, Cy and Susie going at it. She Holt Chick and Diana. And Lillian is just hanging out. You do not know where I keep the hobo D. Oh, Susie going high risk. And she misses.
Uh, Kelly was on yesterday's show, Silver Eye. She hooked shit trying to get Diana out. Uh, Kelly was in a six woman battle royal. She actually did pretty good. If I remember, I'll have to look at my notes real quick. Uh, well, she didn't do so great. You'll have to go back and watch uh, yesterday's show, Silver Eye. All right, D-Train, glad you can make it to, make it and ca yeah, catch the rest of the show later. Tell the, give the family my love. And Diana trying to get Sai out over on the corner. Somebody go help her. And she gives up. Susie raking the eyes of Lolian. Oh, Diana eliminates Sai. We are down to four. And Diana eliminates She Hulk Chick. Susie going high risk. Changes her mind. Mark keeping time here. Lolian working on trying to work on Susie, but Susie is countering. Fireman carry counter by Lolian. Oh, Susie going to work on Lady Diana. And Susie eliminates Lady Diana. And, it is, and the winner is Susie the Elf. Unlike most matches, I, I've been seeing a trend that the winner usually eliminates three people, but this time it was two eliminations for Susie. Thank you, Raven. All right, and real quick, we'll go do the power rankings. And there should be some changes now that crotch fungus is no longer in the in EXW. She was listed as rank number one. And uh, thank you, Ed. So that match took five minutes and six seconds, according to Mark Caliber. Thank you for keeping time. Raven, you will win a match. Don't despair. And... Uh, okay, it did move on. Well, it is still showing Crotch Fungus as... I don't know why it didn't take her out. Um, All right, I took her out because, well, she's no longer in the company. All right, that puts 
Sai at number one, followed by Susie, then Lillian Starr, then Ann Bonnie, then Dizzy, then Cassie Joe, then TCB, then Bubs, T then Amanda Blaze, which is our one of our new ones, and then followed up at the top ten is Alexa Weiss. Just just for the fun of it, let's go down to well, he's All right, we've got Jennifer Justice, Speranza, Wrestling Mama, Lady Diana, Bella Morte, Cassie Madam Red, Nadine, Nikita Solis. He's not supposed to be here either. Just a second here. I will. I. I'll, I will fix. Um, Sasha Camaro and uh, She-Hulk chick is in 20th. I'll fix the, drop the guys all down to the bottom again. But there's our top 20. So. Ah, yeah, Raven. <laughs> You're 24. Hmm. How's my favorite number 24? All right. So there's your top 10. And that will that will do this that will do us for today. I'm a champ in GWA too, so ha ha ha. Oh, hello wrestling mama. Um you will love match number six. You will be so proud of Missy. You'll need to go back and check it out but I will tell you your evolution girls did not do did not fare so well today in their invasion so oh when you catch the replay uh, Ann Bonnie took on Sonya Adams and Nadine took on Roxanne Winters so you'll have to go back and check that out next week it should be usual days and times Tuesday at 1 p.m. Thursday at 1 p.m. I don't believe I've got anything on my schedule that let me double check my calendar no next week it should be schedule as usual Tuesday and Thursday 1 p.m. Eastern so that doesn't look like anything will be interfering with uh, making me have to change days. So, schedule as usual next week. Everybody have a great rest of your week and have an awesome weekend. And with that, I am out of here and we will see you next week.